اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Before we go on further in the series it's very important that we describe some of the common statistics that we are going to use in structural model assessment The first one the beta coefficient The beta coefficient is the degree of change in the outcome variable that is your dependent variable for every one unit change in the predictor variable This means that if I change the predictor variable by one unit how much change is there going to be in the outcome variable So this is your beta coefficient. Now the beta value shows the weight of impact. The standardized beta is in the range of plus to minus 1. The closer it is to 1, the higher is the impact of IV on DV. Normally a beta value over 0.10 means significant relationship between the variables, but this is not always the case and it is strongly recommended that you look into the T value and P value. So what is the standard error? This is the measure of statistical accuracy of an estimate equal to the standard deviation of the theoretical distribution of a large population of such estimates. Now standard error or standard deviation they can be used interchangeably. In simple terms it refers to how far is your sample mean from the population mean. If it is very far then your standard error is high and this means that your results won't be accurate. The lower it is the better. Now if you divide your beta coefficient by your standard error you will get your t statistics and t statistics describe how far your observed data is from the null hypothesis of no relationship now a value of greater than 1.96 will mean that there is a significant relationship between the two variables and your null hypothesis is rejected and finally p value that is your probability value The statistics help establish if the relationship between two variables is significant or not. Now in social sciences research a p value less than 0.05 is referred to as significant. Hence the hypothesis is supported that is your null hypothesis that is your null hypothesis is rejected. Now these are common statistical terms that we are going to come across during our structural model assessment so it's very important that one understand these concepts.